if you do the $300 upgrade and you have this, you basically have a mini stage with all of the capability of the stage for two thirds the cost of the stage. I'm missing where everyone is so upset. I mean, this is like, so what, why is everyone so upset about bullshit all the time? Like no one is, no one is ripping anybody off here. Mm. Well, hello there. My name is HW. Thanks so much for watching Tone Junkie TV. Today, we're talking about this guy. Have you been living under the proverbial rock and you haven't been on the internet today and you haven't heard about the upgrades, specifically people's reaction to the upgrades maybe being a paid upgrade for this Kemper profiler? I'm about to give you my opinion in case you've been under that proverbial rock or in case maybe you live under a literal rock where there is no Wi-Fi. If you didn't hear about it, this is the new Kemper uh, Profiler Player. This has been out for a little bit. And if you look at mine, it's got a little bit of dust on it because I haven't been using it. Let's get into why and let's get into the upgrades. But before I do, let me just let me just say something. Because I, wait, what's that? I can hear you. I can hear you through the camera. Can you hear that? It's the, uh, uh, it's the internet sleuths and the gumshoes over at the gear page. And right now, this is what they're doing. This is what they're doing. You ready? They're going, bah, God, he, he, he sells Kemper profiles. What is this? He sell, he's, the, his opinions are tainted. This free review I'm watching on the internet can't possibly, possibly be free of a uh, ulterior motive. He wants us all to sell everything we have, our, our children, our souls, our kids' college funds, our precious metals and family jewels to go buy a Kemper so we can buy his sounds. Listen, gear page. Uh, I make stuff for Tonex, Quad Cortex, IRs, Helix. Uh, well, how's the old saying go? You can call me whatever you want, but don't call me late for dinner. You go ahead and go link in the description, ToneJunkieStore.com. You buy whatever you want. I'm not going to send you uh, an email that says, excuse me, how dare you buy my Tonex everything pack for $99, shameless plug, or my Quad Cortex everything pack, also $99. Or uh, the head rush pack also. Okay, you get me something. He's shilling right now. He's shilling right, like right under our noses. Yeah, chill out. Okay, chill out, Mister Gold supporting member for twelve years. <laughs> Loser. Anyway, listen. The uh, Kemper player uh, uh, came out, and um, it is in in the current state that you buy it. Um, it is like what I would consider to be a mini Kemper. Uh, I'm sorry, a, a Kemper Junior. That's what I would consider it to be. Because when this thing came out, everyone was saying, hey, I just want a pedal that is like a Kemper player unit. It just plays profiles. I don't need all the other stuff. I put it on my, on my pedal board. And really, these cries really came up when Tonex came out and everything else came out. And, uh, oh, let me say one more thing. Kemper doesn't pay me. They, they didn't send me this. They're not giving me a free upgrade. Uh, they've never, we've never had any exchange of monies, Kemper or I. Actually, we have. I've bought all my Kempers from them or from people used because uh, smart people buy used gear. Uh, but anyway, um, so just full disclosure, nobody's paying me. This, this is just my opinion uh, as a person who plays the Kemper all the time and is a big Kemper fan. So uh, calm down, uh, Mr. PRS player in your, in your jean shorts and your Nike Monarchs over on the gear page. Talking about harmonic content and the crystal lattice. This can't survive. That's a deep cut right there. Listen, listen, listen. Does this guy take a bong hit before he gets on here? No, man. Also this. Stay hydrated. Here we go. Let's talk about it. There's a lot of, a lot of controversy right now on this whole, this whole thing. Basically, when you buy one of these, you get it in a state that is level one. It's uh, what I call a Kemper Junior. Why is it a Kemper Junior? Because even though it can play all the sounds, like all the um, profiles that are on the bigger units, you can put them on here, you're limited. Instead of having four effects in front and four effects in the back of the amp, you only have two and two. So it's like a Kemper Jr. Also, you didn't have a couple things like morphing. Also, you didn't have all of the delays, uh, all of the delays, all of the reverbs, all of the modulation, all of the drives. You had drives, you had delays, you had reverbs. Basically, you had all the legacy stuff. You had everything that the Kemper launched with and had for years, but the things that they've added in the recent, in more recent years, um, like they added Strymon level reverbs. I never hear people talk about this enough. I've owned the Strymon stuff. The Kemper stuff's better. Oh, HW, he's shilling for Kemper. Just shh, shh, calm down. Calm down. All right? Might, all right? Let me change your diaper now, okay? We'll have one or two changes during this whole thing. You'll all right. 
Pop will get you out of here nice and clean. You go home. Anyway, uh, incredible delays, incredible delays. But who isn't doing incredible delays now? I mean, it's, it's just, we're just repeating ourselves, right? How hard is that? Great modulations. I'd like to see more. And they have some incredible tremolos coming out that I believe is going to get um, all out of here. But let's look at what you can now buy because this is what everyone's talking about. Um, they are charging for an upgrade for this to go to level two and level three. Well, what is it? Who is it? What's it for? Who's it for? What do you get? Let's look at this graphic right here. Level two, you get all the famous Kemper effects types. So instead of just having some great sounding reverbs. You get all the reverb algorithms, all the delay algorithms. You get the Kemper fuzz, which there was already some fuzzes in here, but there wasn't the super malleable Kemper fuzz. There wasn't the Kemper drive. You had a green scream. You had a, um, I believe it was a, a mouse OD. You know, you had clones of popular stuff that you could put on here, but you didn't have all of the effects that were in the other units. Um, now you get that. You get morphing. This is the biggest thing to me where I feel like if you're going to make an upgrade, if there's anything missing from this unit that really, I, I was okay with some of the effects being more limited. But for me, the reason mine has dust on it is because I use a stage and I use that morphing all the time. So the ability to have morphing on this, that is a huge thing for me. Output uh, EQ, I don't really use that most of the time. Some people do. Uh, Rick's uh, uh, rig uh, X fade time. Um, that I, you know, I can live without. Without it's been fine. Beat scanner, not something I use, but um, but uh, no no problem. It's it's that's cool. I don't use a beat scanner. One hundred and fifty dollars gets you to that level. That's level two. Level three. Now we're going to talk about in a minute my opinion on charging for this and what I'm seeing on the internet. Uh, because, man, I'm seeing some wham, 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 some spoiled diapers here, okay? They hurt me. Where did the bad man touch you, son? Okay. Anyway, uh, level three, you're going to get eight effects blocks. HW, what the heck are you talking about? Remember I said there's two effects blocks in the uh, before the amp and two effects blocks after? Well, on the Big Kemper, it's four and four. So if you're like me, between morphing and this, I was kind of in the position where I was going, man, I love my profiler stage. And I didn't really make the switch to this. Like I could put this on a board and add a couple pedals, you know, before or after. But HW, doesn't this have all the effects you need? It does have all the effects I need. And that's why I'm playing a stage on its own. But it would be cool to add something like the Chroma console. Or maybe I get like a, um, uh, maybe I have a real clon. And I'm like, what's the point of owning this if I never take it out of my house, right? Or maybe I get something very like esoteric. Like someone made me this delay, a guy in San Francisco uh, remake, it's called uh, Friday's Monday, right? It's like a weird looking, uh, uh, I'm sorry, this is a fuzz, right? It's like, maybe I have something kind of just weird and a noisemaker, um, whatever. There's a lot of reasons you might want to play pedals. Some people just like pedals, right? It's fun. And so that was kind of, for me, what this thing was great for, but I, I didn't want to give up morphing. And I really, uh, I have like some sounds where I use maybe two delays into a reverb to get my really ambient stuff. And then I actually have another effect in there that morphs it brings up an octave, so now I have my same ambient verb, and then boom, you hear the shimmer come in via morphing. Well, that was hard. To, I couldn't really get that done with just two effects. I could get a great sound, but I couldn't get exactly what I was already doing. So um, this is this is cool. The full upgrade, you also get, uh, sorry, by the way, 125 banks, five rigs each. I'm, I'm in the camp where I a unit this size, I think, is fine with 50 rigs. I've never had this thing and thought I need way more rigs. So that's great. Parallel path. Also cool. Um, you can basically send some delays directly out to the output without affecting it with your reverb. Um, that's possible in the big units. To me, it's a very underutilized feature. I don't hear people talk about that a lot, but it is cool. Um, I don't think people were really missing it. Looper. Not everyone's using a looper, you know, live or whatever. Maybe you're using it for practice. Um, I use my looper for practicing here and I have a Kemper and I use the looper pretty much daily. Um, it wasn't in here. Maybe you want it to be, uh, it, it's a cool, it's, it's cool. I'm glad they did that rig spillover. Pretty important. Actually. Um, we, you get the ability to like jump to another rig and still have the delays and reverbs fading out of the first one. Very important for the more ambient stuff. Now, uh, there's this little note at the bottom. Can we see that Kemper profiler player now also lives in the paradigm, the philosophy of the original Kemper profilers. I think this is German genius speak for once you upgrade, 
whenever we add effects to the other things, like once you get, once you do the level two upgrade, um, all you get all the effects types. I think that means all the free stuff they add from here on out, like the tremolos, which they were working on at last name. I have a demo up on the site of, on, on, on the, the, the channel about it, which are incredible. They're the most incredible tremolo modulation things I've ever heard. If you don't believe me, go watch it. He's shilling all of these new things for Kepper. How dare he? <laughs> Just go listen. I don't know. Like, let your ears uh, be your guide. You know what I mean? Or like, or whatever, or your political figure or your chosen biased media source. Let that be your guide. I don't know. You do you, man. Do whatever you want. Um, I'm just saying that for me, this is very cool. Now, let's get into the real thing. So many people have been so upset um, about... I'm, I'm seeing criticisms like, oh, great, it's DLC for the Kemper. And listen, I, a lot of these... Some of these people are my friends, you know, and um, and so I don't want to make fun of anybody because um, I... I, I I don't like conflict with people. Um, you know, there's just a lot of people right now online that I'm seeing that are just, I just feel like your entitlement is showing a bit. Let's, let me like break this down. Why I personally do not have a problem. And I actually think this is awesome. This is super awesome. It, there you can see, this is it. You can be as cynical about anything as you want to be. Let me give you another cynical take. Okay. Here's an overly cynical take. This is not my opinion, but if you want to be overly cynical, um, plugins are just DLC for the quad cortex, right? That's an overly cynical opinion. Those guys make plugins. They now have it. They now have compatibility with their quad cortex and you have to, it's now content that you can get on the quad cortex. You have to buy somewhere else. You know, that's, that's DLC. That's what I, I think that's overly critical. I think that's overly cynical. I don't think that's a fair criticism of them. They're a plugin company that makes a hardware unit and they and and they said we should make these two things work together. I think that's fine. I, I think also in this case, Kemper put out a unit was very upfront about its differences from the other Kempers. Nobody ever thought that in the future f this thing would get double the effect slots. No one has ever said that. In the future, this thing will get morphing. In the future, they actually said from the beginning, it will be available as an upgrade, as a paid upgrade. That was very much said in the beginning. Um, or at least they said that's our plan going forward, but it's not available right now. So um, this has been known. Uh, I, 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 I think we've known about this. Um, it was definitely in videos that I've seen. I believe I said it on the channel uh, that we were going to see um, some upgrades in the future. Um, which great. Like I'm, I'm really happy about that. I believe it's in a Kemper video, a video that I did with Kristoff at last Nam. So it's not really much of a surprise, but to me, this is the exact same thing as the Eventide H9. Um, H9 came and in standard deluxe and max, um, it's, it's the same thing. Um, you see, honestly, the, kind of the same thing with Tonex. If you buy the cheapest Tonex, you don't get the Tonex Max software. You load it up and you actually don't get all of the stuff that they have, all the, all the Tonex captures they have in there. You, and then if you want to get all those other collections, you got to upgrade the software to Max so you can drag it on your pedal. So in that case... You know, it's like you get the same pedal, but the amount of captures you get actually is determined by the level of software you buy or the level of software that comes with it. So to me, this is like, this is not that different. It's not that surprising. What they've done here is they've given us for, um, I think about 700 bucks, um, a Kemper Jr. It's very much a Kemper that you could just put on your pedal board. It has um, almost all the effects it has, it's a little more limited in, uh, in it's like DSP capability. People go, well, they locked everything. They locked it. It, it. The DSP was in there the whole time. I mean, I guess, um, you know, that is also going on on all on the fractal units. Have you not noticed that, uh, on the fractal units, there's some like the FM three and the FM nine, you run into the limitations of there's some DSP that is, um, partitioned just for the reverbs. It's done that way. So you don't max out like all of the, or it might be the FM nine. Anyway, it's done that way. So you don't max out the DSP with the other effects. And then you have nothing left for reverbs. That way you can always run any one of their reverbs, the high quality reverbs. If you remember also initially, 
the Helix, um, the, the HX Stomp, you could not have unlimited blocks. They actually made it at first so that you could not, you would not see uh, effects faded out, meaning, oh, there's not enough DSP to load this effect. And then they switched it where you could do unlimited blocks until it runs out of DSP. Um, and they did that really because the Stomp XL offered more uh, uh, more buttons and stuff. So anyway, uh, th they might have done it right before the XL. Anyway, all I'm saying is this is really nothing that revolutionary. People can sometimes sometimes are like portraying this as though they paid for something that they're not getting. You paid seven hundred dollars for this unit, and you got everything that is out there. Like I don't feel gypped. What I do think is super cool is this: if you're a new person coming into the Kemper universe. All of this pricing and all this stuff makes sense because you have this choice. You can buy a stage for like $1,500 or $1,625, I think it is, right? Or if you say, I don't want that big unit. I want something that is is that whole thing. I want a Kemper, a mini Kemper that does all of that stuff um, except it's small and fits on my pedal board. Well, that's now available to you for $1,025 from my math, if you do the $300 upgrade and you have this, you basically have a mini stage with all of the capability of the stage for two thirds the cost of the stage. I'm missing where everyone is so upset. I mean, this is like, so what, why is everyone so upset about bullshit all the time? Like no one is, no one is ripping anybody off here. What also you got to understand is like, these upgrades, just put on your business hat for a second, okay? Do you think, this is just my opinion, I don't know anything about the business. Do you think Kemper, if you gave, if you gave the people at Kemper a choice, you can double your sales of this unit or double your sales of the stage. Which one do you think they pick? I would bet that they have more margin in the stage. And so they would say, I'd rather double our sales of the stage. Because my margin probably isn't huge on here. Why is it not huge? Well, because we had to get this price as low as possible. Okay, so what does that mean? They put out a product and they know some people will want to upgrade it to the full capability. But because not everyone wants that capability, some people just want this to run profiles. We don't want to price it at $1,000. So we backed it off to $700. So that people have the option to get in our ecosystem at 700. Maybe you're a person who goes, look, I don't need eight effects. This is great. I don't even have morphing on my, on my 1997 blues junior, right? I mean, that's how many people I don't know what rig spillover is. My delay when it's on makes a bop, 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 bop sound, right? I, so if you're a guitar player coming into this world, God bless Kemper that they made a, a, a version at $700. And it's just like the H9. You can get more if you want it. And if you don't, don't, right? I don't really understand um, like what everyone's so uh, upset about. No one has, has misrepresented themselves or anything. You might go, well, the DSP in here, blah, blah, blah. Since when did we like, I mean, is there like a cost per unit of DSP? DSP is such a weird way to like say that anything... Um, like, oh, they put the DSP in, but they nerfed it. I mean, guys, when you talk about like the power of a unit, it's all subject to how much, how much processing power or speed or calculations have to be done to make a certain sound come out, right? If you remember when the quad cortex came out, initially there was a lot of criticisms because when you loaded that spring reverb, you could put no other reverbs on the same line as the spring reverb, which made it really hard to put multiple verbs or have one verb on and off. You just couldn't do it. And so Doug and the guys at Quad Cortex had to go back to the drawing board and they had to make changes to the code to make the reverbs they had released less heavy and less taxing uh, uh, in terms of processing. They did that. They, what they effectively, they did not take away, they did not give you more processing power, but what they gave you was the ability to run more things with the processing power you had. So when I look at the Kemper and I go, this is a unit that, um, not this particular one, but the other units came out 13, 14 years ago. And we're, we're still getting new effects for it. It's like, who cares what the DSP is? Can they deliver a new sound I didn't have before? And the answer is yes. Now, 
let me just say, I, I have people jumping out there and going like, um, oh, now they're going to start charging for all these upgrades. I haven't heard anything like that from them. And this, then this, this little quote we talked about before, um, that it now lives in the same paradigm. I think that's pointing to the fact that, um, they're not going to be, tra- I don't think they want to do that. I think honestly, this is the case. This is the, this is the particular situation. They, they minified a Kemper. They made it mini. And if it, and, and they got to sell other units, they made something as cheap as they could. And, um, uh, I think they, they have now units for everybody. They have the absolute cheapest you can get, which is 700 bucks. And you get this and a bunch of great effects and this. And if you're a person who goes, well, Tonex is $99 and it just has the amp sounds. Tonex one is yeah, great. Enjoy. Like, I mean, that's great. Some people already have a bunch of Kemper profiles. They like the Kemper universe. They want to be able to put their sounds from a big Kemper to the little Kemper with pedals. Um, they like the Kemper. They like the effects and stuff. Uh, and if you're like me, you've been using a stage. You love morphing. You let the Kemper is all you use. You now get all that ability here. Plus I can now put it on a pedal board and play. I'm, I'm switching to this. I, me as a player, as a Kemper player, I've been very slow to adopt this unit because it didn't have the morphing and the, all the effects types. And while I could have made it work, I just took my stage because I liked it more. Now I'm going to take this and a chroma console because sometimes I take my stage and like one other pedal just to play around with because I get a new pedal. Now I'm going to take this and build a little pedal board with three effects. Maybe I put my favorite Cali 76 compressor right in front. Is it because this Kemper doesn't have a good compressor? No, it has a good one. But the Cali 76 is my favorite. Maybe I'm going to put my original Klon in front. Doesn't this Kemper drive Klon sound sound good? Yes. But why do I have a Klon? I mean, th- this now fits that on that board for that player. And they can get it for 700 bucks. And if they want even more, they can get it this at a thousand bucks, right? And if they go, I don't, I wish it was so small. I wish it had more buttons. Well, they can either buy a $49 more little switcher, or they can go ahead and buy a complete Kemper stage for $1,600, which is the exact same. You now have access to all of the Kemper features for even cheaper. What the hell are people missing about that? I don't get, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. But hey, look, hey, listen, I live in a country where, um, uh, you, you, they, you know, hey, we can't afford college for anyone. We can't afford health care for anyone. Uh, but magically, there's like billions of dollars just to give to everyone else around the world for every conflict, every border, every whatever. I don't know where they find it. I don't know where they find it. It's like every day I read, oh, so-and-so gave more money to this. So-and-so gave more money, a billion to this, two billion to this, five billion to this, 4.6 billion to this. And they're like, social security's bankrupt. I'm like, wait, what about the billions you just put over there? So what do I know? There's a lot of people who think that what I just described about money going loosey goosey everywhere, but somehow we can't pay for stuff that's very important. They think that makes perfect sense because they're very sophisticated, but this makes no sense at all. Me personally, I think it's the opposite. I think you can buy this for 700 bucks. It's exactly as advertised and it's awesome. You can pair it with other pedals. So it doesn't need to have all the effects as the big guy. And you can do that at 700 bucks. If you want another unit, great. Some other units might be a little bit cheaper than this, but you can't move the delay around. You can't move the reverb around. Some other units might just do the amp sound and they're cheaper than this. Great, but you don't have effects. You don't have more, you know, blah, 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 right? If you want more in this package, you can pay to get the upgrade. And those people who want more can have more, but other people who want less, they don't have to pay more for stuff they're not going to use. And then if you want the big boy unit, the big stage, 1500 bucks, same price as the big boy of the of the Helix and the big boy of the Quad Cortex and the big boy of the FM9. And if you want a rack, see, I'm hearing a lot of people go, well, if you, you know, I can get th- this plus the upgrades is the same as a rack. Okay, put a rack in your pocket. I mean, what the hell pants are you wearing that you can have a rack? I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. I just work here. Literally work in this room, making incredible effects. Link in the description. He's shilling again. He's shilling again. Someone stop him from shilling again. You know, that's how I feel. Anyway, I've been HW. I'm going to go get back to work. I'm making uh, some insane IRs. I've actually, I'll tell you, I've actually uh, discovered a new way to make IRs. And I'm making them all that way. And I can't tell you anymore, but it'll change the world. I've been HW.